It comes as the world hit a grim milestone. One million COVID related deaths, 205,000 in the USA. Now we're learning that in the race to develop a vaccine, sharks may be a key. How so? Shark liver contains a rare oil called squalene, which makes the vaccine more potent. More than 500,000 sharks may have to be captured and sacrificed to supply the world with the coronavirus vaccine. Shark advocates like Stephanie Brendel are concerned. There will be people wondering why we worry about this because humans should be more important than sharks, and they are. But we have to remember that there will be many other vaccines, and this will go on potentially for decades, and it will add up. We're also learning more about a troubling side effect of COVID-19 patients that troubles so many people, particularly women. I just wanted to show you the amount of hair that's coming out of my head as a result of uh, COVID. Videos of actress Alyssa Milano and other sufferers pulling out clumps of hair are causing widespread concern. I was worried. Christine I Liff was, was diagnosed with the coronavirus in March and showed us how much hair she still loses wow. on a regular basis. I was considering at a certain point, do I have to get a wig? Do I have to start wearing, you know, scarves on my head? Because, yeah, it, it's it is a form of your identity and it was very unnerving how much I was losing. Research now confirms that COVID-19 does not directly cause hair loss. One brushing. It's stress. This is my the uncertainty, the fear. All of those elements, you know, your job security, all those things will lead to stress and that stress can make your hair go into a stress shedding cycle and you can shed up to 30 to 40 percent of your hair all at once and the hair will regrow back, but it can take time. This is my hair loss.